Let's get started with our top focus tonight. Prime Minister Narendra Modi met his Belgian counterpart in Brussels today and during that meeting, both sides agreed to step up their bilateral partnership. Prime Minister Modi said that if Belgian capacities combine with India's growth, then it will lead to promising opportunities for business communities on both sides. Prime Minister also pushed for the long-pending broad-based trade and investment agreement between India and EU, saying that it will benefit India and all EU member countries as well. In Brussels, ahead of the 13th India-EU summit, Prime Minister Narendra Modi held a bilateral meeting with his Belgium counterpart <coughs> Charles Michel, during which the two leaders agreed to up their partnership. They discussed the entire expanse of India, ranging from counter-terrorism to trade and investment, from energy cooperation to science and technology, and from high technology to tourism. The two leaders had a luncheon meeting as well. Here also they discussed the potential in the bilateral ties. Retracing historic ties between the two countries, Prime Minister underlined that 100 years ago, around 1,30,000 soldiers from India fought alongside Belgian soldiers in the World War I, and 9,000 made the supreme sacrifice. Prime Minister added that there is immense potential in the bilateral ties. Belgian businesses can make their global supply chains more cost effective by manufacturing in India. India's goal to modernize infrastructure also presents a unique investment opportunity. Prime Minister also invited Belgian business persons to explore opportunities in India, which he said is the fastest growing economy in the world. We are one of the fastest growing economies of the world. I believe that a combination of Belgian capacities and India's economic growth can produce promising opportunities for businesses on both sides. Prime Minister further added that if Belgian capacities combine with India's growth, it will translate into promising opportunities for business community on both sides. He said, the diamonds are not only an old link between the two countries, but they also provide employment to many in India. On India-EU ties, Prime Minister said that India and European Union are key strategic partners and a broad-based trade and investment agreement would benefit India and all EU member countries. I feel that a progressive path and creative mindset to India-EU trade and investment agreement can enable all the European countries, including Belgium, to benefit from India's strong economic growth. Earlier, Prime Minister arrived in Belgium to a red carpet welcome. Enthusiasm among people of Indian origins was evident, with several waving the tricolor at Brussels Hotel in PM's honour. A ceremonial honour for PM preceded the commencement of business, with PM inspecting the parade at Egmont Palace. That was followed by his meeting with leading Belgian CEOs at Egmont Palace. PM has struck the right chords during his first visit to Belgium and surely it will go a long way in enhancing India-Belgian ties. With Sudhir Yadav and Neerat Singh in Brussels, Newsnight Desk, DD News. Expressing solidarity with Belgians days after Belgium was hit by terror strikes, Prime Minister said that India has been a victim of terrorism for 40 years and world powers need to unite to respond to this threat effectively. When Prime Minister Narendra Modi reached Brussels for the India-Belgium bilateral summit and the India-European Union summit a week after Belgium's capital was hit by terror strikes, counter-terrorism and trade topped his agenda. India stood in solidarity with grief-stricken Belgians post the terror attack. Before his official engagements, PM laid a wreath at Milbik metro station in a tribute to those men and women who lost their lives due to mindless violence in Brussels. At the metro station, which was a terror target, PM remembered India's Raghavendra Ganeshan and other victims of the tragic attack. We share the depth of sorrow and grief that the people of Belgium have experienced in the last eight days. My deepest condolences to the families of those who lost their loved ones to the terror strikes 
in Brussels last week. Having experienced terrorist violence ourselves on countless occasions, we share your pain. Counter-terrorism dominated the bilateral talks between Prime Minister Modi and his Belgian counterpart. Both condemned terrorism and resolved to fight it unitedly. Prime Minister highlighted that countries are suffering due to terrorism and India has been a victim of terrorism since past 40 years. In this time of crisis, the whole of India stands in full support and solidarity with Belgian people. As a part of our efforts to respond to this common challenge, we could resume discussions on a mutual legal assistance treaty, negotiations on extradition treaty and a treaty on exchange of sentence prisoners could be concluded quickly. Belgium was hit by terror strikes at the airport and Melbeek metro station on 22nd March in which around 35 people were killed and over 300 injured. India's Raghavendra Ganeshan also died in the attack. As the Prime Minister highlighted, terrorism remains a major concern for the world community and the fight against it needs a united global response. With Sudhir Yadav and Neeraj Singh in Brussels, Newsnight Desk, DD News.